up, guys? The Bench Buddies are back oh, with our Week 18 Power Ranking solo video, meaning Ethan's yeah. going to be doing his own Power Rankings this week, not our usual combined rankings. Um, and we're only ranking the 17 teams that are left to get into the playoffs. And Ethan, take it away. All right, at number 17, we got the Saints, 8-8. Uh, eight and eight. Like I said in the Power Rankings video that we just did, uh, all they got to do is beat the Falcons and have the Rams beat the 49ers to make the playoffs. And that's very real possibility. But uh, with their ceiling, I have them ranked as the 17th best team because, yes, they have a great defense, but um, offensively they struggle to move the ball sometimes and are most likely going to lose their first playoff game against a division winner. So, And here at number 16, we got my Steelers. Uh, no bias ranking this week. For them, uh, they do. They just need to beat the Ravens and they need the Jaguars to beat the Colts. So most likely not going to happen, but a uh, great year for Mike Tomlin again. I uh, wonder what they're going to do at quarterback for next year, seeing, knowing that Ben's gone. So uh, lots of questions going into next year for the Steelers. Uh, at number 15, we got the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, this game against the Cowboys does not really matter because they already clinched a spot and the Cowboys already clinched a spot, but uh, it does play for seeding. So this, this game, like you said in the Pirates video, is going to be really hard to pick, uh, especially for us trying to w win $20. Uh, but they're, they're one of the better teams or they're, they're one of the better teams in the NFC East, but that's all they can win against. So uh, 15 is a good spot for them in this ranking. Uh, number 14, we have the Raiders uh, against – they beat the Colts last week, a very impressive win, won three straight ever since Derek Carr was saying that they aren't done, which is a very good point. Uh, all they got to do is beat the Chargers on Sunday Night Football, and they should win, and they should uh, make the playoffs. Uh, still, I don't see them winning any playoff games. I see them losing in the wild card round. So, at number 13, we have the Los Angeles Chargers. You never know about this game on Sunday night. You know, I think they're a little bit better than the Raiders, higher ceiling at least. Justin Herbert, you know, they have a lot of superstar power, but they also get penalized a lot. And that's what's going to make this game really interesting, in my opinion. I think it's really up in the air between them two. Uh, Chargers have a lot to work on with this draft. They, they are one of the most explosive teams, but they got to get that defense better. That's the main thing. Uh, here at number 12, we got the Niners. Um, they just need to beat the Rams straight up. Uh, next year, they're going to go with Trey Lance, but right now it's all about Jimmy G when he gets healthy. I don't know. I'm not sure if he's playing this week. Are you, you think, is he playing this week? Or? He's going to try to. Okay. So, if he plays, uh, they could win this game, but kind of um, a rough ending to the season if they lose this to the Rams and not make the playoffs. At number 11, we have the Pats. Uh, I have them lower than a lot of other people just because uh, they have a very uh, low ceiling on offense. They're, they're still a good squad. I mean, they scored 50 points, but it was against the Jaguars, so I'm not taking too much into account for that. It's more of a Jaguars – uh, just how bad their defense really is. Uh, at number 10, we have the Colts. I think they're slightly better than the Patriots uh, just because Carson Wentz is a little bit better than Mac Jones, not much better. He's still a little bit too reckless. Uh, if the Colts get a really a solid quarterback, which I think they need to do, uh, I think the Carson Wentz experience should be over after next year. If they get a better quarterback, uh, they could be a top five team in this league easily. At number nine, we have the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, big win against the Cowboys. We thought they were going to be, you know, one of the worst, one of the lowest seeds in the NFC now after a few straight losses and just not looking good. But they really shaped it up, beat the Cowboys. Uh, so that's a big win. And now if they beat the Seahawks and the Rams lose, they, could, they win this division. So uh, pretty interesting going into week 18. Uh, here at number eight, we have the Bengals. I have them a little bit lower than what we did in the regular one, just because they do have problems on that defense. And I think when it comes on the playoff football, they will uh, lose a close one to either the Titans or the Chiefs or, you know, Bills, one of the better teams in the AFC. 
And number seven, we have the Bills. I think they're slightly better than the Bengals. Still uh, not, not as good as they were last year. I think Josh Allen's been a little bit more, uh, I don't know the word, but I guess it is reckless, uh, throwing the ball a little bit less accurately. Uh, so they are turnover prone, and that could that's the way to beat them in the playoffs, which is why I have them at number seven. At number six, we have the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I, I think that they are still a really good squad, but uh, losing to the Cow or losing to the Cardinals showed that their offensive uh, they have a little bit of offensive woes sometimes against the better defenses. And there's a lot of good defenses in this NFC with the Bucks and the Cardinals and all those teams. So they're going to have a rough playoff uh, run. And here at number five, we got, we got I got the Titans. A uh, big win against the Dolphins. They did all this without Derrick Henry, like you said in the Power Rankings video. Um, kind of impressive. Once they get him back, uh, they are definitely one of the best teams in the AFC and a really scary team. Mm -hmm. At number four, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, and you never know, come playoff time, they could be the number one ranked team just because of Tom Brady. But right now they're at four because of their offensive. You never know about the wide receivers now with AB, whatever happened with AB, um, injuries with Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, you know. So uh, Tom Brady can definitely get this team to win some NFC playoff games, but we'll just have to see how it goes. And number three, I think slightly better than the Buccaneers today as we speak are the Los Angeles Rams. Um, really impressive the last two weeks, close games, but uh, they did pull them out and that's all that matters. And that shows in playoff games against the Bucs and Packers, I think they can compete and have a chance to win those games. At number two, I have the Kansas City Chiefs and I really wanna put them at number one um, but I just can't do that with the loss against the Bengals. Uh, should beat the Broncos this week and maybe get the one seed if the Titans slip up, but if not, still should, should roll through the wild card, whoever they play. And at number one, uh, Super Bowl favorite right now, I have the Green Bay Packers. Uh, best team in football because they can win it in different ways. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is going to be the MVP. Uh, Aaron Jones, great running backs. They have they got every they got all the weapons in the world, and their defense is coming around. If they keep playing physical, like they have been earlier in the year, and like they did last week against the Vikings, then they're going to be a very scary team and should be the Super Bowl favorite for sure. But uh, that's all for my rankings this today. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Zach, you got anything to say before we head out of here? Just tune into mine and see. Uh... Where my rankings will be, we have a few rankings that are probably going to be the same, um, but I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm not getting on the crazy side, but I think there's, I take into the the hot, surging hot teams going into the playoffs. I'm taking that into my side. So there may be a, a few teams with lower records uh, on the rise, but I'll just leave it at that. All right. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for Quinny's videos. Um, but until then, Bench Buddies are out. Peace. Never call back